So pretty much I just finished my shift at work and we came to a place called Nimboida. So Nimboida is in New South Wales, Australia. There's this GoPro challenge going on that my partner is entering a few clips into. Um, if you win the contest, I think your video gets used in one of their commercials or advertisements or whatever. And we actually knew a few people last year that won it, which is really cool. So we thought, why not give it a go? But yeah, so I'm not going to be doing anything in this. Um, my partner actually is. He is setting up a rope swing. He's already set one up. I don't know if you can see it hanging behind me there. He set one up years and years ago, um, but I think they're trying to do something a little bit different. So we're going to get me and um, one of his friends and another one of his friends to do a little bit of filming, which would be really cool. And they're going to try and do some cool stuff off the bridge. <laughs> um, yeah, I... I don't know if I'm gonna jump off the bridge, probably gonna swim, but also I brought my little flowy thing that I just bought because um, I wanna enjoy myself too. And it's so nice, the water is literally so perfect at the moment. Um, yeah. So at the moment they are getting up to the top of the bridge and they are going to tie up, I think, another rope. I don't know where they are, what they're gonna tie it to, but can't wait to see. I think one of our friends is actually going to repel <laughs> and hopefully stand on the middle of the bridge thing right there, if you can see. And I think he's going to be filming from that angle. I will most likely be filming from down here and our other friend from up there. So hopefully we get some cool shots um, and we'll see how it goes. <laughs> coming 
swimming off the water and just watching the waves. It's just so therapeutic. You don't even need to swim. Um, we did go for a little bit of a dip earlier, which was awesome. So I have gotten that out of my system a little bit, and we are going to swim in a little bit. But until then, I'm just going to enjoy the sun, the wind, and the sound of the waves. <laughs> Break your studies like I did. Just went for a little bit of a swim. Um, we tried snorkeling here, and again, I think the tide's coming in at the moment, so it's pretty murky in the water. You can't really see anything, unfortunately. Um, but it's nice and refreshing. As I was saying, over here, I don't know if you can see, just at the end over there is the ocean, um, and just it's kind of blocked off by like a sandbar and everything. So all here is ocean water but it's only getting water from high tide and then when the tide goes down it's pretty pretty nice it warms up quite a bit so unfortunately we weren't able to snorkel too too much i mean we were we just couldn't really see anything um so now we're just probably going to swim and relax and then enjoy the rest of the day who's brave enough French fries and it didn't work. They wouldn't fly to his hand, so we just had to throw them and hope for the best. How was your bird feeding experience, Rob? Wasn't as good as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> I'm starting to get a little bit hungry. I don't know if we're going to stop for food anywhere, but like the sun's taking it out of me. I think I really. <laughs> something pub food I need a good pub feed that'd be nice but yeah, I think we're done for the day mostly we might just go to the just down this little water thing for a little bit um, just where there's a little bit more sand and beachy um, just to kind of relax a little bit more there's a little grass and sticks around here so it's not as comfortable Woo! ready to go Maybe he went back to where we were already. Just look for something white on their arm. But Shane, our friend, went for a long walk so we can't swim. And we have left to where we are, and I have his phone, so we're not gonna find him. Okay, so we found this path, and I think we think we went this way, but we don't know if he's gone either really far or he's back already and looking for us now. I thought when you lose somebody, the main thing is to stay where you are. <laughs> I guess not. Hello. Hello, puppy. Hello. Hello. <laughs> you know the sign with the broken arm come walking past? <laughs> yes, right thank track. you. <laughs> Not on your own. <clears throat> that would be so sketchy. I'd have to ride a bike and just like zip right through it. All the yowies will get you. What's a, a what? All the yowies. What's a yowie? Is it another made up thing like drop bears? Urban legends of these lands. What do they do? Tells me when it's right to gamble and when it's right to pull out. If it's not the same thing, then. Maybe, maybe my ghost can talk to their ghosts, you know? And be like, hey, like she's actually kind of cool. Don't actually do anything to her, she's fine. Your, she ghost, your ghost must talk to my ghost. I think so. 
especially about the falling out part. <laughs> well done. Well done. Way over there is where we started. We walked all the way around that way through this little area and we're still going. We still haven't seen him. The only guess as to where he is is that one lady that was sitting by the water that said there was a guy with a broken arm walking past. Could have been another guy with a broken arm. You're the one who left the spot where we were meant to be. He's probably back there like, where did you guys go? More or less our fault, I think. Swain! <laughs> this vlog is probably all over the place and I really just wanted to sit down and explain to you guys um, why it's looking like this and what the hell is going on. Recently I found myself in a job where it requires a lot of hours and I don't feel like I'm getting enough work-life balance. At the moment, I do not want to step away from this job because financially it is really helpful. Um, I do have the opportunity now where I don't have to pay rent and I am getting a good wage, so I'm able to save. I have just recently figured out that I need to get my wisdom teeth out, um, and I found out yesterday actually that um, it's going to cost $6,000 to get them all out just because of the position that they're in. Um, I am in Australia and I don't have any health insurance anymore just because I've been out of Canada for so long that um, no longer Canadian insurance companies can sponsor, can sponsor me, can insure me. Now I have to look for Australian ones, um, especially because me and Rob also are planning on leaving um, Grafton, where we are at the moment, um, at the end of the month, ideally going to Melbourne. Uh, so lately I've really just been stressed out from everything that's going on in my life. Like I'm working a lot, I'm really stressed out, but I'm not doing anything to kind of ground me or relax me or whatever. By the time I get home, I'm so exhausted. I can't, I don't feel like I can work out. I probably could, but I've lost that drive and I just, I've really talked and vocalized with my partner of what's been stressing me out and what I need to kind of help me out of this or work through it. And that is, I need to be making the most of my days, which means doing something before work, doing something after work, um, going for a swim, just something to like make me feel like I've done something for me something to feed my soul and something to make me feel good and I just have been lacking that so we've really been trying to go to the beach and go swimming and go for a boat ride or just go for a walk or kind of just breaks up your day a little bit more yeah so that's why this vlog may or may not be all over the place um, but just so you kind of have an idea of why I'm doing it and from day to day, I haven't even been getting enough content for these videos, which is what I really wanna be doing. I really wanna be vlogging and I wanna be making videos and just talk, speaking to that creative part of me. I guess you never know until you try and this may be a cool opportunity for me to like, I could get better and something could become of it. I just thought I'd put all that out there. So this is my platter. This is what the, this is everything that I have to say and everything that I wanna do and I'm giving it to you now. I just want to connect, man, and I want to be able to talk to you guys and just be myself and just fuel that creative part of me that I, I feel like I'm lacking in my everyday life and I feel like this is one of the best ways to do it because I love editing and I love filming and I love photography and just, I don't know, and making memories at the same time. Why not? Why not? <laughs> I love you guys and I will talk to you soon and hopefully you understand the chaos that is this video because it's probably all over the place. but. I'll show you anyway. Mm -hmm.